Hi all, welcome to PR Learning. Today I am back with a new video that is error handling in logic casting detail. This is one of the frequently asked uh, interview questions uh, which I have faced. And I am going to explain this uh, with the help of demo using Azure portal. And uh, the answer and the demo which is uh, my research on this particular topic if you know any better way or if you find out any better way to achieve this, uh, please let me know in the comments. Let's do a KT, learn and grow together. Okay, let's start the video. So what exactly is the error handling in Logic App? Like error handling in Azure Logic App ensures that failures like HTTP timeout, 500 errors, or uh, connector failures are detected and appropriately managed using run after conditions, scope actions, or retry policies. Okay, uh, how to handle that? Like using a combination of retry policies, scope actions, and run after configuration, we can handle the errors in logic app. For example, in one scenario, like we can uh, wrap an HTTP API call inside a try scope. Okay. If that fails, that cat scope gets triggered using run after failure, where we can send an alert email to the support team. This approach ensures clear logging and graceful handling of exception without breaking the workflow. Okay, this is about uh, error handling in logic app. So I will explain um, how to handle using scope with run after configuration and also retry policy for HTTP connector. So let's see the demo. So I have already created the logic app. First, I will show that this is a simple scheduler logic app, and uh, I'm doing only one task in this logic app that is calling an API. Okay, so I added HTTP connector uh, for that. And uh, to catch the exception, like one any error occurs in the logic app, I'm just terminating that. Okay, first, I will show the successful scenario. So it's working properly. We are able to get the result. So now I will change something in the logic app to make it as error. This is the get uh, API. So I will uh, do as post. I will save this. So I have already mentioned, right, we can use the scope along with the run after configuration. By this, we can achieve the error handling in logic app. So now in uh, main logic, uh, error will come. Okay, I have changed this, right? In real world scenario, we will have many connectors here, not only one connector. And also, uh, like this error will not come. Like uh, This is just a demo purpose I'm showing. If anything happens in the back end, then uh, this result, this API call will fail, right? That time we have to catch that exception. So in the catch exception, I have added just a terminate connector, like I'm just terminating this. Then on um, adding only scope will not help to catch the error. We have to configure run after also. How to do that? We have to go to settings, and here we have to select. When we have to execute this catch block, that we have to specify. So has I already selected like has timed out, skip, and has failed. So whenever this main logic uh, timed out or skipped or failed, then I have to terminate the logic app. Okay, this is my logic. So by this way, you can achieve, uh, achieve the error handling in logic app. So not only termination, here you can add any logic, like pushing the logs into uh, log analytic workspace or uh, any... Uh, log tracking to like Splunk or any like Azure storage also you can push the logs, right? That uh, logic also you can write here. I'm just uh, like a demo purpose. I'm adding termination here, okay? So once it's done, now we will uh, execute this one. See, it's failed now. So main logic is failed. So it went to second scope. Here we captured that error. So it's terminated. Okay. 
you can check in this way or uh, in in this way also like better understanding you go here and in the run after uh, setting you just do is successful also and run the logic app then you will get to know uh, when it's a successful also logic app will be terminated you can check in this way also i i will not show that uh, you can try it out okay uh, this is uh, one of the ways to uh, achieve the error handling in logic app but here one problem is there what is that here uh, generic error will be uh, captured okay like if anything happens in the main logic it will go to catch exception and uh, it will execute so we will not know exactly what exactly had happened like which connector has been failed in the main logic that is the problem because uh, here now we have only one connector that is fine we will know that okay http connector has been failed but in real world scenario we will have many things right uh, db connection and uh, any other uh, system also sending an email something uh, many things will be there right so we have to know that which connector has been failed that is the proper way to handle the error right that also we can achieve using scope and run after configuration okay so the how to do that i will show now so in the cat block we can add as of now i will remove this uh, terminate connection so i will add one uh, looping condition for each result in the first scope like a main logic uh, scope for each result like for each uh, connector in the main scope i will check the condition like if connection connector uh, is failed then i will proceed okay so i will uh, add the condition step i have already formula I have written so for each connector this is nothing but in for it i am just adding for each connector in the main logic i am checking the condition the like status of that connector status of that particular connector if it is failed then we can uh, do according to that like if it is failed then uh, terminate or push that block into the adjust storage or anything like based on the requirement uh, and if it is not uh, failed like uh, if it succeeded then fine like based on the requirement you can achieve this so as of now i will add one compose connector to to uh, show the execution okay compose here i will just add my connector name here i am just adding connector name you can capture the message also uh, that we can here i can't do because in uh, http output i am not getting any uh, like message property based on that you can uh, add the condition here okay so i will add this i run this logic app we will see what happened so main logic has been failed as we had already changed this method to the type right so it went to catch exception and for each connector here we have only one connector now so only one loop so in the condition it checked it's failed so uh failed uh, we had written a uh, formula right that is true so it went to true block here in compose we can see c action http has been failed okay so so this is the way you can uh, capture the particular uh, uh, error happened in the main logic okay which connector has been failed you can uh, capture here hope you understood uh, how to achieve error handling in logic app
so best practices uh, i have listed like use scopes to logically group actions for try catch like pattern and uh, always log errors for diagnostics so just uh, catching the exception is not enough okay we have to push that log into log analytics or any azure storage or splunk any tracking uh, system because uh, there only we can uh, analysis that and uh, find out what exactly happened and what can be done for that particular error and you terminate only when you need to stop execution explicitly by retry policy also we can handle the error but uh, it is not like uh, it will always uh, lead to successful uh, execution okay that just retries and uh, try to achieve the successful execution so how to do that go to setting and uh, here we can specify default none or exponential interval or fixed interval so in the exponential interval if we want to do then here interval we have to specify this is the standard to specify the intervals like pt 20 second is like uh, 20 second interval it will uh, retry again okay if any error is happening in the back end if it's uh, fixed in this interval then it may lead to successful execution okay here uh, we have to specify here we can select which one we want this you can try it out this is also one of the ways to handle uh, errors in uh, logic app okay this is about uh, handling errors in the logic app hope you understood the process as i already told if you know any better way to handle uh, this or any new approach to handle the errors in logic app please let me know in the comments so that i can also learn let's do kt learn and grow together bye bye take care